it. It says, thou shalt have no other gods before me, not to worship these things. Now, if you worship anything else rather than God, what does that make you? Do you know? It makes you an idolater. And it says this, the Bible says that all have sinned, that all of us have fallen short of the glory of God. Now, has anybody lied? Has anybody lied here? Has anybody lied? How many times have you lied? How many times have you lied? How many times have you lied in your life? What does that make you if you've lied? What does it make you if you've lied? A liar. Good sir, you're a great guy. Great, thank you sir. Makes you a liar. Now, what is God going to do with liars? Anybody know? There's a judgment there. He judges us. Now, here's the good news. Instead of God punishing you for your lies and sending you to hell, do you know what happened? Jesus Christ came and died on your behalf for your lies. Does that make sense? So he died on your behalf. He died for you on that cross. He's, when he's dying on there, every lie that you ever did, he's dying in your place and taking the punishment. Now, if you have, I don't know if your dad's alive, but if your dad's alive or not alive, imagine your dad is giving you a kidney. You're about to die and you've got no kidneys. And you're about to die and your dad gives you a kidney. And you say, no dad, I don't want your kidney. I've got none myself, but I don't want yours. You're going to die. You'll take the kidney. Now Jesus offers you hope for your lives. For any mistake that you've made, Jesus died for you. Are you going to take him and believe in him? What about you, sir? What about you, sir? You're, you're the good guy. Right? If you died tonight, I, I, if you died tonight and you didn't believe in Jesus, from what I've said about lying and your lies, what will happen to you? So, will you not make the decision today, sir, to make sure that you're right with him? Will you do that? We go home and read your Bible. God bless you. Do you want a Bible? Do you want the Gospel of John? Thank you for listening. That's what we're preaching today. Life and hope today.